Bam, 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 bam. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on how to build a house. Well, actually part three of the three part series. So this will be the last part, unless I decide to make another one, which I don't think so. So today is going to be the garden. Well, right now, filming most of it in the same day. I'm just going to destroy this tree. It's a little bit too close to the house. Probably gonna add one back there later. But, doesn't matter. Okay, so, I just as like the, um, the house, the inside and the outside of the, of the house, I'm, I'm not, ha I don't have anything planned in my head yet. Well, I want at least a fountain to put in the house. Let me just time set day. It's almost night time. Oops, not two A's. Yay. Sorry. Okay. So the house sort of looks bland, don't you find? Doesn't have enough natural like garden and stuff like that so I'm not gonna go a little bit excessive but I'm gonna put one fountain on we're gonna put one fountain on each side of the house hope that's not too excessive for you or for us for anyone so take so if necessary take a block of the terrain that you're in like sand dirt grass you get it and then you Get some stone bricks, chiseled stone bricks, stone brick walls, stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs. Just get all of them. We're probably going to need all of them. And then get a, a bucket, of, bucket of water, if I could find it. You just get the bucket of water and then wait. Where the heck does I put a bucket of water? Is there any ingredients? No, I wouldn't be. Not food and drink, not combat. Maybe tools and utilities? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So now, come to the... Uh, one minute. Left. Yeah. Left side of your house from facing in front of your house. Count one, two, three, four, five blocks. This will be the middle of your, of the fountain. So you cover a three by three area in stone bricks. At the bottom, this will be your, the ba the, the inside of your fountain, the bottom. That's what you call it. Probably gonna have to expand it later. We will. Then you go around like that. Stone bricks. One, two, three, four. It's his old stone bricks. Then take one, two, three. We'll put stone brick walls all around like this. Stone brick slab. Water in there will go nowhere, but if you put it on top, it will make it look like it's going from in there. That's your fountain. Perfect. No flaws. I'm just joking. There's a big flaw. Water goes everywhere. So basically, you just have to make it one more block out. I knew it. I should have made it one more block out. And make sure to fill the bottom with stone bricks. You could also use deep slate or basically any kind of stone. It really doesn't matter. All stone. All stone is good. I accept all stone. Yeah. 
Now I'm gonna have to reset the water. That's even a thing. I don't know, but I am. So make sure that it's two blocks out from the bottom. I mean, from the the big top part. And then just take out the water. And then refill it again. How we did before. Then it should, should go in there. Then we just fill this up with water to make everything nice. Yeah, everything's going to be pretty now. Yeah, it fixes itself out. Just have to put water in every corner, which I forgot to put stone breaks in. Yeah, so that's one fountain done. Doesn't really look the best. It's better than nothing. Then maybe we're probably going to add some park fences. And now time for the funnest part. To repeat. One minute. This time, one block away, we put the first one, which will be a corner. One block away. So, after that block, here, and then. Uh, what am I? Um, sorry, I can't really visualize it. It's going to take me... Um, uh, just not that long to fill this in with grass. Then I just add this sound, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's a 5x5 five five area in the middle, so basically you need 6 blocks on each side. Six. Yeah, so 1, 2, then here, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. It's 4 blocks high, eh? Uh, 1, 2, 3, and yeah. Don't want it to look too different, except different in the fact that it's going to be in different spots on the different sides of the house, obviously. So one more out here. Two. Yeah, then two. Yeah, so right now it should look like this. Actually, it should not look like that. It should have the stone bricks in the bottom. On any device except for um, uh, iPads and phones, I'm sorry that you don't have this feature, but... You could press basically the break button then the place button at the same time and you basically just like replace it. it. Takes a little bit of practice. Not just a little bit, a lot of practice. like that the walls are floating so I think it's gonna oh that's sort of a problem yeah I think I, I like it better with the stairs underneath so put stairs underneath the walls remember you can use any kind of stone sandstone deep slate black stone 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 don't have to name them all 
that's going to take me a while. Let me just make sure that it's filled in on the other side. Yeah. So then do this on then repeat on the other side. There. So yeah, like that. There we go. Fountains done. Water features done. And we're also going to need a flower garden. Oh, um, uh, food garden. We're going to work on that next. So keep your water bucket and your dirt and and you need dirt slash stone if you don't already have it, depending on where you live. And also, you need to get any kind of hoe. I use netherite hoe because I get an achievement. <laughs> and then, and then food and drink or wherever you get this stuff. You can choose whatever kind of crop you want to plant. I think that seeds might be in here. Nope. Probably in functional blocks. Natural blocks. Wait, are those seeds? Yeah. Wheat seeds. Oh, we're also going to do a cocoa bean farm. I can show you how to do that later in this video. I'm just doing potato, carrots, wheat, and melon. You can use whatever you want. Oh, also, you're going to need um, walls and fence gates. It's um, highly um, suggested that you use the same type of um, stone or whatever you use for the fountains for the farm. So you come over here to the left or right side, doesn't matter. <clears throat> come to the cor back corner of your house, go one, two, then on this block, one away. You place your stone brick wall, then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure it's an uneven number. Now it might may not make sense, but it will soon. Well, probably not. Then you continue this all the way along till you get to the front corner of your house. And then you come back to the back corner and then you connect. Actually, one away from the corner. Yeah, because that means that someone could get onto your water fountain and then just jump in. Well, they could still open the thing, but that's fine. Just not talk about that. Then you, take, then you do the same thing. You repeat like you did on the other side. And also, if you don't have this house that I was creating and creating with you guys, well, not really with you guys, well, the house from part one slash part two, this is compatible with any house. These fountain design, the farm design, which isn't really original, I don't think, could be compatible with any house, I think. I like that. Then you dig a hole in the middle where the middle fence gate is. Oh yeah, put three fence gates. Leave one like that, like that. Then you break in the middle. Actually, yeah, I think that you should go seven across. Makes m most sense for me. Fill this up with water. Don't worry, we're gonna fill this up with lanterns and lily pads later. You till the soil. Oh no. I suggest that you get 
four different types of seeds that does not include melon or pumpkin. Let me just follow my own rules for a second. Oh, yeah, it's at the bottom. Um, favorite seeds. Remember, choose any kind of um, plant that you want. It could be how much, ever many types of seeds that you want, even all of them. Oh, this is 19, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. One, two, one, two. There. Okay, yeah, you could do um pumpkins and melons also. Sorry, that was my mistake saying that you couldn't. One side could be pumpkins and melons and one side could be the other seeds. Let me just move these out of the way so I could get pumpkin seeds. Whoa, 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 natural. No, natural. Sorry. Poopkin seeds. Yeah, so you can basically do anything that you want with the seeds. Place them how you want, yeah, yeah. When you want, where you want. And then if you're doing a melons on, and pumpkins on one side and or pumpkins, um, just leave a space there so they could grow. Because they need an extra block to know, to grow. I'm not sure if you know that already, so that's why I'm saying that. Okay. Now, collect, well, get more lanterns out. Or torches. Never mind, not torches. You can't place them underwater. And then get some moss carpet or or lily pads, depending on what you like. I'm going to do moss carpet. Go lantern, nothing, lantern, nothing, lantern, nothing, lantern. So every second block you put a lantern. Sorry, I need a drink of water. I'm not surfing this part. I'll, I'll, I need to do multiple clips, but if there's anything too big, but I'm not sure yet. Oh, oh man. Uh, I'm going to need to find something underwater. Um, do you have the same problem as me? Actually, I'm just going to use lily pads. It's way simpler. For on creative mode. Hey guys, I'm back. It really only took me a few seconds. Well, not your time, my time, just to place the light pads. I did that so I could record for longer. Yeah. So, oh, is that sunrise? Or is it sunset? Oh, well, I'm gonna do time slot day. Cause I think that it's uh, sunset. <laughs> There. Boo. Yeah, so then we got the vegetable garden. Oh yeah, so now we're going to plant a few big oak trees or spruce trees. So we're going to plant some trees around the, 
the house. So whatever kind of um, biome you're in, you're in, take the tree that you have, take a sapling that you have, or you could take one from a random type, like you could take a random type of sapling. If you have dark oak saplings in your chest, you can use those. That doesn't matter. And where's bone meal? Guessing it's punks and all things. Nope, not redstone. Sorry, it's taking sorry that it's taking me so long just to find bone meal. Oh bone ball. Wait, did I see it? No. Wait. In there, what's over there? In there. Oh, bone meal. Oh, it's one of these type of Cool. Bone meal is an ingredient, if you're wondering, for Java Edison. Oh, and I saw this cool trick that if you take um, tinted glass. And then place it around a sapling like this. Oh, well, don't keep the one in the middle that won't let it grow. Like this, I think that it works. And then your bone meal becomes a big one. So basically I'm saying just go crazy with trees. Like, go as crazy as possible, as many as possible, as many as you want, actually, not as many as possible. Maybe if I just delete that. Okay, yeah. Just put as many trees as you want and how many you'd like. Doesn't matter how many trees you have, but you want to have at least a few. Then, after I'm... Um, you're done the trees. We're going to move on next to bees. But I'm going to sign off again. Um, just so I can do a little bit of off-screen tree planting. I know that I sign off a lot. But, well, guys, bye. See you in a few. Hey, guys. I'm back. So, I finished placing some trees i might add a little bit more later in the video so i'm just going to show you the trees i place while well, i planted i'm going to need to plant another one over here there we go ah nice big one yeah so these you can use for wood or just for decoration i suggest decoration but you do what you think's right for your house yeah those are the trees now, like I promised, well, not really promised, well, like I said before, we are now going to do bees. Yay! I'm going to show you how to set up a cool little bee thing. No. Building box. All you need is kind of any kind of fence, and then you're going to need... A uh, beehive, beehive or bee's nest. I'm gonna do, um, where's bee's nest? It's in building blocks. Sorry, let me just find bee's nest. Oh, never mind, beehive. That's what I'm gonna do. No, not E. You can tell that I'm trying to get out. Okay, yeah, so wherever there's like a plastic of flowers like these near your house, in your house, at your house, if there is, um, add some bees to there. And um, make sure to actually get the bees. Three bees um, fill up one beehive. Not cool, it's an alphabetical order. So, in both editions, I think that three bees do it in Zaba. Not sure though. Yeah, so three bees, one hive. 
remember that. And um, put a campfire ne underneath the beehive when you want to harvest it. And make sure to use sears or a uh, bottle. Sears to get honeycomb and bottle to get honey bottle. Yeah, place them randomly around your house. Be as far or as close as you want to from your house. This is a little bit far. Remember, three bees. For each hive. Bee, has, bee nest or beehive. Yeah, so I think that I've made four. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, four is nice and good. So after bees, um, what else does your garden need? Let me just think for a second here. Um, a statue. Not gonna look that great, by the way. For your statue, you want stone bricks. It has to be stone bricks this time. Stone bricks and mossy stone bricks. Stone brick slabs for the bottom slash mossy ones. Then stone brick slash mossy stone brick for the the around around the statue you could put it anywhere around your house uh doesn't really matter it could be in the front in the back side side top bottom any side basically i'm gonna do mine in the front <coughs> so pause the video right now because you're gonna have to get the stuff if you don't already have the stuff, obviously. So once you have your stuff, start building. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten by ten. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine. Dang it. Ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this. Use mossy stone and just normal bricks. Well, not really normal, because that's not nice saying normal like that oak is the normal because it's not but I think it is the original oh that was already one so now add a little bit more make sure that it has some of each Just like the world. The mossy stone bricks slash stone brick are people. Well, our countries and or something like that. And and every and everyone lo looks different. That makes no sense. Just treat stone bricks just treat these as people. Never mind. Forget that. Okay. And now go into the middle with something that there is because it's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, there is actually. So. Now go into the middle again. 
one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, it is uh, different. Yeah, so basically you just want to create something like, like what I'm making right here. Four extra out. So you can't one, two, three. Yeah, you count one, two, three, then the next block, you add your first slab, and then you do four, then you make sure that it's three. Yeah, that's how it works. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, four. What's wrong? One, two, three. One, two, three. Must have miscounted. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, because I have three. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now middle two. These two. So these two blocks, and then the middle two these two blocks so these four blocks I'm going to build up with your stone slabs in those things it has to be the same exact pattern then we start building the statue actually we're going to make it 4 by 4 so you got to use the same kind type of slab as it is at the bottom. Now you could face your it, it direction anyway. So warning, this is gonna look terrible. Two, three. So one, two, three, four, four, five, then then you come over here. One, two, three, four. Like this, then feet. Oh, yeah, use mossy stone bricks and this normal ones. Doesn't matter which ones you want to use. Okay, now you got that. Then you go up one layer, actually, up two three layers then you go out one one two three then you add one block underneath the third one so one two three go down one add that add some mossy stone and this normal stone so if you can't tell already which you probably can can or can't doesn't really matter if you can um, we're making a person, a not so good one. There. Now for the head, one, two, one, two. For the neck, the one, two, three, four. Then one. So then go up, so from the bottom, you count the bottom one, one, two, three, four. Then put like some stone bricks and that stuff. So this is a four by four square. Whee! Yeah, because remember, you want your statue to sort of look old. Okay, now for the face. Uh, what should I use for the mouth? Actually, you 
can't really decide. Sorry. Well, cause this isn't live, and it won't, and it will not be. We're gonna do dark brown eyes. Get dark oak log or strip dark oak log, depending on what you like. And then I'm gonna have to make it six by four. Yeah, so just add two extra thing, two extra um, lines on the side so we could put in the face. And remember this, personalize this as, as if it's your own build, but um, follow the techniques that I'm making. Most of them. Sorry, it just takes me a little bit. And for the smile, I'm gonna use stripped oak wood. Yay! <coughs> We're gonna have to make it one more. Hi. Yeah, sorry. I'm making so many last minute changes. Not really last minute because it's not the most important thing. And the statue is probably not the best looking thing for this house. There's better looking things like the house. Don't tell the statue that I said that. <laughs> but, yeah. But the statue is still sort of nice. It's still nice. Last time. Yeah. And if you're wondering, um, if there's a, if there's a way that, if you know, or if you're wondering if there's a way that, that I could. Um, turn it to always day. The answer is I don't know. Statue done. The yeah, I forgot the 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 protection because it's it's a very important masterpiece. Remember, don't tell the statue what I said earlier. Not like it. Okay, yeah, make sure that it's one block away from this and two blocks away from that. Unlike what I'm doing. Well, like what I'm doing over there. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this clip, this part of the... I'm gonna do a little bit of off-screen wall placing, a little bit of randomizing. Hey guys, I'm back. So the fence should look like this around, I mean the walls should look like this around your statue. Well not the same exact pattern of um, <coughs> stone bricks and mossy stone bricks to be differentiated. So well I really think that that's it for this. I'm not sure if there's anything else that a garden needs. Ooh, is that iron? Sorry, I'm distracted. I just got to go check that out. Ooh, that's some nice iron. Sorry, I just want to see how much of this. I say sorry too much. I'm Canadian. It's natural. Okay, yeah, only three pieces of iron. Not that useful. Oh, yeah. This video. <laughs> now I know what I was doing. I remembered. 
Wait, what? They can pollinate your things? I love bees. Not real life, I'm so scared of them. They, this thing hurts. Believe me. What the heck happened here? Oh yeah. So yeah, that's all for this video. I think I may, I may make a part four of this, adding some extra garden features that I forgot. But I don't think that that's gonna happen. And by the way, sorry that I got distracted a little bit with the iron and that weird hole that I'm probably gonna check out after I've stopped recording. Well, bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.